Seed Studio sent me a, a sample of their Seed Studio uh, ESP32 S3 Zao Sense camera, and that's quite a mouthful. And I'm gonna do run some tests to compare this with the AI Thinker, which I usually use. Um, now this retails, I think, for about 14 US dollars, um, which is about the same as the AI Thinker on Amazon, and then about half that on AliExpress. So the first thing I noticed about this is it comes uh, configured for this external antenna, which you have to press on. And uh, now to attach the external antenna to the AI Thinker, you have to desolder and resolder a surface mounted resistor. And I can't tell you how many of these I've destroyed by trying to, how many of these things I've destroyed by trying to desolder and resolder on the um, surface mount resistor. So I was pretty happy with that. And the other thing I noticed about it is it comes with this um, USB-C connector so you can flash it more easily. Um, whereas for the, for the AI Thinker, you need to use like this FTDI kind of thing, which is a bit of a, which can be a bit of a hassle. And so now I'm going to just, I've loaded on a sketch on these, a, pers a, a TensorFlow Lite person detection sketch on both of these. And I'm going to uh, see, see if there's any speed improvement from the ESP32 S3 uh, over the AI Thinker. So I'll show you that in the next scene. Hey everyone. So I've updated the person detection sketch that came with a TensorFlow Lite ESP32 library so that it streams onto a local network. And on the left, I've got it running on the uh, Seed Studio Zao ESP32 S3 Sense. And on the right, I've got it running on the AI Thinker. And here it's showing the milliseconds since the last inference. Here it's showing the score that it's a human or that it's a person. And this is the frames per second multiplied by 10. So it's 2.3 frames per second and 2.1 frames per second. And we see that the Seed Studio is about 5.6 or 5.5 seconds per inference, whereas the AI think is about 8.2 seconds. So that's quite an improvement. That's about two and a half seconds improvement, around about 40% improvement on average. Um, and the reason I've multiplied the frames per second by 10 is because I'm converting floats to integers and it's just easier to work with um, when it's multiplied by 10. So we're seeing there's a pretty high score for the person detection sketch and I'm a person. And now I'm just going to point it the other direction so we can see it go to a low score and we'll see how long that takes. 34% and this one's still working. 18%. Uh, so I think we've got a clear winner here, which is the Seed Studio. Uh, given that it's faster and it comes with a, a external aerial configured and it's easier to flash. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.